Multiple employees and managers at the Clark County Family Court are under investigation for allegedly covering up a sexual assault by a court martial. The I-team has uncovered video showing a woman claiming a court martial sexually assaulted her. She later was arrested by that same marshal who has since been fired. The I-team's Nathan Maka here now to show us how an internal affairs investigation is revealing much larger problems at Family Court. Well, Dave, it's not just one single case. There's multiple marshals involved in allegations ranging from sexual assaults to choking a citizen in court. This investigation begins with a 2011 video we've uncovered showing family court marshals arresting a woman because she claimed one of them sexually assaulted her. A warning, some of the details of the story may be disturbing to some. So I'm just going to close the case out and dissolve the order. All right, thank you. Okay. Monica Contreras came to family court with her two-year-old daughter. She was in court for only a few minutes on a routine divorce case. According to internal court documents reviewed by the I-team, family court marshal Ron Fox ordered Contreras into a waiting room by herself for an unexplainable drug search. Contreras says Marshal Fox touched her buttocks, breast, and ordered her to lift up her shirt. A later internal investigation validated her claims. Contreras went right back into the same courtroom to tell hearing master Patricia Doninger her requests to have a female marshal searcher were ignored. I think I'd rather have a female in here. And he went in here and I was just offended by this. I'm just offended that, that he asked me to do that. Okay, so the story stands, handcuffed. Contreras pleads as Marshal James Kenyon begins to arrest her. For what, sir? Hold on. Okay, it was, why would I be arrested? Can you please tell Turn me? Turn around, put your hands behind Can your you back. Can you please tell me? Turn around, put your hands because behind your back. Because of false allegations made against the police officer, so. What? We looked and could find no law supporting that arrest, let alone any law allowing an alleged sexual assault victim to be arrested by the alleged assaulter. Jimmy, I got court. I still have to do this, so arrest her. I take the kid. We're done. Why would you do that to me, sir? Because you're making false allegations. After repeated attempts by marshals to get Contreras to recant her story, she breaks down. Let me go home, please. Let me go. It was all lies. I don't want to tell anything. It was all lies. All lies. All lies. All lies. Please stop. We can do this the easy way. We can do this to her. Marshal Fox tells Contreras the only way she can avoid jail is to step up to the microphone and recant. Contreras agrees, but does the opposite. When you asked me to lift up my shirt without it, without a witness, okay. you asked Thank me to lift. You. you asked me to lift my shirt without a witness. For four minutes, Contreras pleaded to hearing master Patricia Doninger to hear her. Doninger didn't look at the alleged sexual assault victim, deciding instead to play with Contreras's daughter. How could you do this to me? How could you watch? How could you watch? Contreras' two-year-old daughter confronts the marshals arresting her mother. Oh, no. He said, can you please pull the picture without a witness? And I said, I don't think that's a good idea. Yes, I do. Yes. No. If you have a female. Contreras kisses her daughter before being sent to jail. Her young daughter sent to Child Haven. Two months later, Contreras filed a complaint with court martial internal affairs. Sources tell the I team investigators were shocked they never heard of the alleged courthouse sexual assault from when family court lieutenant Steve Rushfield. After a six month internal affairs investigation, Marshal Ron Fox was fired. Nobody from Clark County told Monica Contreras that she found out because we found her. Contreras asked that we blur her face. I just hope I did the right thing by telling Eternal Affairs. It makes me feel good because now I know that I was right. We went to the top of Clark County Court Administration. They released a statement reading, Court personnel are prohibited from commenting on the video because it's a personnel matter. When the actions of any district court employee are called into question, the court immediately responds by conducting a fair, thorough investigation and upon completion taking appropriate action. Even though Marshall Fox was fired, sources tell the I-team Clark County is widening its investigation into why this incident and a growing number of assault allegations were never reported by family court management to internal affairs. Marshal Ron Fox maintains his innocence and is suing Clark County for wrongful termination. His attorney declined an on-camera interview, but in court filings claims the marshal's arrest was just because nobody in the courtroom tried to stop him. We have the entire six-minute courtroom video. That's on our website. It's hard it's to watch, especially the little girl. Yeah. It's, uh, and the judge is not culpable in any way in this. Well, uh, she is under investigation. Okay. A lot of people are under investigation, so we're going to be following oh, this story. I guess so. All right. Thanks a lot, Nathan.